So, so my office had reached out. Obviously, you heard from Grush's interview that there's a lot of information that he needs to share with us in a private setting. And for whatever reason, they did not want to give us a skip. And then they also, too, would not authorize him a one-time reading clearance so that he could actually reactivate that. So just to put it in perspective, we're conducting an investigation. We are denied access to the skiff. We are not get by the office of We we were denied access to the skiff, and so to my knowledge, what's going to happen now is not only do we have the support of the chairman, but um, but they're going to get a nice letter from Congress. And as you heard, Representative Obi said, if we're denied, we're going to use the whole federal rule to public position. And then what about this not for a full repository of all the data on it? Is that something you're going to support with legislation coming out? Of yes. Talk to us about that. We're, we're very multifaceted. We've got so many ideas now, and like I said, this is just the first of many. And we, we, I mean, the reason we got this is because we told them we were, we were just in the field there. We were going to do them in my front yard. I said, you know, my wife and daughter are going to grill out hamburgers and hot dogs. Y'all would all be invited, and we could ask everything. We could bring everybody there. So they didn't want that, so they brought us back here. So, you know, we're, it, it's still an uphill battle, though. I mean, every every step of the way has been. Has this made you realize that we are not alone? I knew it before. I, I, I didn't need this. I, I, I'd seen enough. I've seen enough, and I would hope that you all would get that opportunity to see. What and I'm sure you guys have heard enough too. I mean, you heard the testimony of some of the technology uh, representative vocals asked some great questions, but when you have senior military pilots and officials saying that there's technology that they don't believe is, is from us, from humans. And also, you got to realize three United States congressmen were denied, denied by our military. We're supposed to be telling them what to do, what to do not the other way around. And so we, we're going to continue on that path. You both were talking about the intelligence community also. Wait a minute, Andy wants to say something. Well, I think it should be noted in your opposite question. But, you know, does UAP technology potentially pose an existential threat to the national security of the United States of America? And all three of the witnesses answered yes. Congress has a responsibility now to move forward aggressively to get to, get to the answers to these questions, even if it's in a secure environment. Yeah. Well, reverse engineering, of course, we're talking about something that we have no concept of. So it's like I'm a motorcycle guy. So if I took a Harley Davidson or one of the new Indians and took it back to the people on the Mayflower, yeah, they could shine it. They wouldn't be able to fix the carburetor. They wouldn't be able to change the plugs. They might be able to figure out where the gas goes. They might get it started. But that, that's sort of where we're at with the reverse engineering. You know, it's just so much ahead of us. But the, but the question you have to ask, and it was alluded to in there, was that it's been handed off to people within the business community so that there is no FOIA, that you all in the press have no access. So, you know, where does the line end and where does it begin between the government and big business? And and I think it'd be wise for you all to start looking at some financial disclosures of some of those corporations, some of the people who do the stonewalling in this town. We'll get everybody. We're not going anywhere. I appreciate it. Two questions. You're going to cramp up. What about, the, what about Intel? You talked about the Intel community blocking access. I can continue to, to see that. And my, my second well, question is about the corporations. Oh, you mentioned the corporate interests. I'm wondering if uh, you all are planning on naming names uh, in that sense. Well, we like, that's why we want to get in the skip and get some of those names. That these folks can stay healthy long enough. But again, I had a piece of legislation, very simple. It just said uh, that, that when the um, when a commercial airline pilot reports a sighting or something unusual, an anomaly in the air, that when he reports that to FAA, they report it to Congress. And I was told by leadership that it was blocked by the intelligence community, not the intelligence committee, but the intelligence community. And that is a very chilling effect. If you if you reach, someone can reach through the veil of government and pierce it to the point of we do not have access to something, you gotta start asking yourself who the hell's in control. But, but you guys also should too be asking these questions of the intelligence community. We can only do so much as members, that's where you guys will get the slap, right? So keep the pressure on.
what are your thoughts on the pilots? Only 5% of them are reporting right now. Well, and, if, and if you do yeah. report, then you're going to get in trouble. Well, and Matt, you're gonna... Matt, Matt Gates alluded to that. And we were there, and you know, that's when the, the CIA folks got a little nervous when we were when we were talking and when we were, we were, we were told that apparently that they do destroy the evidence because they don't want to come back and be pulled off the flight line. Now, they say they're, they're um, you know, they're debriefed, but it's eight hours. They're interrogated. They're pulled off the flight line. These guys don't make a lot of money. They fly in a $50 million piece of machinery, yet they're treated like dogs. And then, then on the backside, they get a blemish on their record. So, you know, it's, it's military intelligence. Like I said, military intelligence is like congressional evidence. It doesn't exist. Congressman, who has prevented you? Who has prevented you?